my Boulder bookstore. My name is Lauren Walker and I'm the creator of Energy Medicine Yoga and I'm really excited to share my new book with you called The Energy to Heal. When my last book came out I did a reading at Boulder bookstore and I love Boulder bookstore so much. All the little nooks and crannies in that beautiful reading room that I was in. Here I am in my home studio in Montana and I'm going to answer some questions. What inspired you to write this book? That's kind of intense because, well, it's twofold. I've been through quite a lot of traumatic experiences and events in my life and worked really hard to overcome them. And when I started to share the methods that I used on myself with my students, they had incredible responses and they really encouraged me. They kind of forced me to write this book because it was so helpful for them and they wanted this work to help other people who had also been through trauma and stress. And so I wrote this book for my students and for you. If you've had stressful or traumatic experiences in your life and you think that there is no way to get free, this book is for you. What kind of study and research did you do to develop the program in your book? Well, again, that's a twofold answer. The first is self-study called Svadhyaya in yoga. And that is really looking at yourself and seeing the truth of who you are and then discovering where you need to go from there. So when I was really at low points in my life, I mean, there, were, there was about a year where I could barely get out of bed. That's how intense these events were for me and I used every tool I had and studied what else I could do. If I didn't have the tools, I looked for them. One of the pivotal turning points in my research was studying with Rupert Sheldrake, who is one of the preeminent scientists on the planet today. And his work uh, really informed my understanding of fields, field theory, and how to resolve and move out of fields that are not serving you. And trauma and stress is actually a field. And so once you understand that, you can become free of that. So Rupert's work was pivotal. Nassim Haramein's work um, is pivotal. Uh, Donna Eden's work. So I really study um, the science behind what works for us psychologically, physiologically, and embodied as well. Because I'm not just interested in the theories, I want actual results in my life. I want to be free, and I want you all to be free too. Can you tell us about Energy Medicine Yoga? So, Energy Medicine Yoga is a synthesis, if you will, of traditional yoga practice, which I studied for years before I found my teacher, Donna Eden, who teaches energy medicine. And what that is, it's illuminating that we are all energy. That's all we are. We're made up of energy. Even though we feel like we're solid, we're not solid. We are bits of vibrating information and light and sound. And when you know that and understand that, you can work with it so much easier than working with the density of the clay or the physicality of the body. And so I took those two disciplines, energy medicine, understanding that we are only energy, understanding that there are nine distinct energy systems in the physical body, and putting that together in a yoga practice which creates space in the body, which is one of the rules of energy. Energy needs space. So when I brought these two disciplines together, it was really one of those aha moments. This work increases the efficacy of both practices without increasing the time. As a matter of fact, it diminishes the amount of time that you need to devote to this. And here's a little secret I'll tell you. I'm a super lazy person. I do not want to spend all of my time working. Even if it's working for something good, which yoga is, I don't want to spend hours and hours on the mat. Every once in a while I do, but not every day. I want to spend a little bit of time doing a practice that gives me big results. That's energy medicine yoga. Do you have a favorite exercise in your program or does it differ depending on the day and what you're feeling? Okay, that's a great question. Yes, and um, 
every day is different. You show up to your day, to your yoga mat, to your life, different every day. And so you're going to tailor the practices to what you're feeling that day, emotionally, physically, what's going on in your world, the seasons, all of that is, uh, is built into energy medicine, yoga, and the programs there. But it's really, it, it's, it's really easy to do all of that. It's not like you've got to kind of figure out all of those things. You come, you show up, and your body and your energy tells you what you need to do. That said, there's a little practice called the wake up that we do at the start of anything and everything because it is the baseline of getting your energy working in the right directions, working for you instead of against you. It's like filling your tank up with gas, turning on the ignition, putting the car into drive and driving forward down the road. That's what the wake up, the energy medicine yoga wake up is all about. And there's lots of ways that you can find the wake up. It's in this book, it's in my prior two books. I have videos all over the place and there's um, a, a bunch of ways that you can get a video of me teaching you the wake up for free and I'm going to tell you that in a moment. What's one simple thing everyone can do to reduce stress and heal trauma? Okay, I'm going to give you this. It is essential that you remember this, that you stick this in your back pocket, that you put it on a sticky note and have it around your house because this really is the most powerful tool for reducing stress, overcoming trauma, and reprogramming the nervous system so that you don't get triggered again and again by those same stressors or even that memory of that traumatic event or experience. This is it. It's so simple. One hand over the forehead like you're taking your temperature. It does so many things, and I could take three hours talking to you today about what it does. But I write about it in the book and I want you to read the book, so I'm going to save that for the book. But you have the tool, so you don't need to know the science behind it. There is science behind it. You don't need to know the whys behind it. There is whys behind it. All you need to know is one hand over your forehead. Anytime you feel stressed, anytime you feel anxious or nervous or someone cuts you off in traffic or you're lying in bed and you can't fall asleep at night because your mind is spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning, one hand over your forehead. Deep breaths is always a good idea, no matter what's going on. And I promise you, it will start to change your life. If you've got some really intense things that you're going through, you might want to hold here for a really long time. This starts to reprogram that limbic loop, which is what PTSD is stuck in, that limbic loop. Trigger response, trigger response, trigger response. This will start to reprogram it. I promise you, it is one of the best things that you can ever do. And I also will tell you this, that you'll forget it when you go into stress until you kind of have that in your habit field. There's those fields again. You have a field of habit. So remember this, put it on a sticky note in the place that you get stressed the most, and then drop me an email and tell me, oh, that was amazing. That worked. Okay. What have you been reading during the pandemic to stay hopeful? That's a big question. So I'll share with you some of the books that I've been reading, but I want to step back and say this. I never lost hope. I didn't go into hopelessness and this is why. I believe in the resiliency of ourselves individually and ourselves globally. I was disappointed really disappointed that we didn't take advantage of that gap time, that downtime to reprogram ourselves and our world. I would have loved to see countries re-educating their populace, their people, us, on how to be healthier in our lives, how to strengthen our immune systems, how to um, become more resilient in the face of physical ailments and difficulties, but also emotional and spiritual ones, which certainly have been going on through this whole pandemic. We could have re-figured so many things out in that time where we stopped the world, but I haven't lost hope and I still haven't. I really believe that if we can free ourselves from our traumas and free ourselves from our stress, we can make the choices that will help our world heal and help ourselves heal. Every problem has a solution, and there are so many solutions out there. We just need to have the resilience to make the right choice. And the reason we don't make the right choice is because we're stuck in a trauma response or we're in stress mode. 
So if we can release our trauma and we can release our stress, we can have heaven on earth on this planet right now. I truly believe that. And it's the responsibility of each of us to do that work. So get this book and start doing the work and then pass this book along so that your neighbors and your family and your friends can do this work. We need to free ourselves so that we can be free. Oh yeah, what have I been reading? <laughs> um, so, you know, I study a lot. So I'm always reading nonfiction science books and um, spirituality. But I did read some novels for the first time in years and it was wonderful. I read The Art of Hearing Heartbeats. Oh, what a beautiful book. What a beautiful book. If you haven't read it, you should absolutely read it. And then um, if you know Philip Pullman's work, oh, and if you don't, you're so lucky. Dive in. So he wrote two sequels. Uh, he's writing a trilogy to a sequel trilogy. I'm sorry, a prequel trilogy to the Golden Compass series. So if you've read the Golden Compass, then you know what I'm talking about. Lyra and Pantelemon and the Daemons. Um, and uh, so he wrote a prequel to that uh, called The Book of Dust. The first one was La Belle Sauvage and the second one is The Secret Commonwealth. And they're amazing, beautiful books. And we're waiting for the third book. So Philip Pullman, if you're watching this, I can't wait to read the third book in the Book of Dust trilogy. I'm cheering you on. Please write it soon. Um, okay, is there anything else you want us to know about your book? Yes. If you purchase the book, then take your receipt and go to my website, emyoga.net. That's energymedicineyoga.net. You can put either one of those in, emyoga.net, energymedicineyoga.net, and join our gratitude program. All you have to do is buy the book, and then you can join this gratitude program. And there are so many free gifts in there. Every month, we have new gifts. I teach a live free class at the last Sunday of every month. And on the day of book release on May 8th, I'm going to be teaching a live class on a heart activation practice. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to teach this. It's material that I've never shared before. Incredibly powerful about finding your heart and finding the ability to lead with your heart. People pay a lot of money to take classes with me and this is a free class and all of these classes in the gratitude program are free so you're getting hundreds and hundreds of dollars of free material all you have to do is buy the book so go ahead buy it and go to our website and put in your details and we'll send you a thank you and access to all of that right away can you read us a short passage from your book i would love to thanks for asking okay i'm going to read um, just from the beginning. That's where we always start, from the beginning. Here is the truth. You have an endless ability to heal from any experience you've gone through with an equally endless amount of power that lives within you at this very moment. That power is energy. You just need to learn how to use it. If you've ever stubbed your toe and sat down to massage it, you've worked with energy. If you've ever had a headache and held your temples with pressure, you've worked with energy. If you've ever watched the Olympics and seen the athletes at the top of a ski run bang on their chests before they take off, you've seen energy work in practice. Have you been watching the Olympics? Every time they do this, that's energy medicine. They're using energy. If you've ever taken several slow, deep breaths before answering a difficult question, you've worked with energy. But maybe you've never thought of these things as working with energy. And maybe you've never thought of working with your energy to help alleviate stress, to overcome challenges in your life, and even to work with the most intense traumas you can experience. In the following pages, I'm going to share with you why working with your energy is not only the best way to deal with stress, challenge, and trauma, but is also the essential way to truly heal. I've been teaching yoga for 25 years and exclusively energy medicine yoga since 2009. I developed EM yoga while teaching at Norwich University, the oldest private military college in the country. The students there showed me in real time that EM yoga is a powerful tool to mitigate stress and overcome trauma. Since then, I've taught these practices to thousands of students all over the world. 
the consistent feedback is this, EM yoga is magic. But it isn't magic at all. EM yoga is grounded in science and founded on ancient healing practices from all over the world. It is replicable anywhere, by anyone, accessible, easy, and like our desires for that other kind of magic, very, very powerful. I'm going to explain to you what energy is, what energy medicine yoga is, and why it works. Then I'll give you a tool, like a compass for your life called the 5E star, that you can use over and over again to help resolve the traumas, stressors, and difficulties in your life in a way that is easy to understand and apply. <clears throat> That's it. Energy plus energy medicine yoga plus the 5E star equals your freedom from anxiety, grief, anger, fear, worry, stress, and trauma. This isn't a one and done practice because life isn't a one and done thing. Life is a long and winding road, often beautiful, sometimes difficult, yet always interesting if you can put the right perspective on events that might otherwise seem overwhelming. Life is full of everything. It truly is the agony and the ecstasy. And the goal? To reach a long and healthy endpoint after a long and healthy accumulation of days and years made up of moments in which you are deeply present, content, and even joyful. There really is no other goal. The richest person on the planet will still die and take nothing with them. It's folly to aspire to things that are transient. Instead, I want to inspire you to release your difficulties and experience joy in the simple daily moments of life. Whatever you've been through, I know you can overcome it. I've had students who have been through it too, and I have too. I've seen such remarkable resilience and transformation in students who, before they studied with me, would have sworn to you that they'd never be free from their stress or they'd never get over this or that awful thing that happened to them. But after doing this work, these students report feeling free, actually carefree. Their relationships are greatly improved and including their relationship with themselves. They're happier, calmer, more open and more generous. When you see these students around, they're the ones paying for the groceries of the person behind them in line or volunteering for at-risk use or for Meals on Wheels or at the local animal shelter. They are the ones helping others because they are now free of the burdens they have been hauling around sometimes for years. Now it's time for you. It's time for you to put your burdens down. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited for you on this journey. I've been through it. I've been through the journey from the hardest, hardest, hardest part of life back into the magic, beauty, awe of life. And I want that for you. Please join me. Get a hold of this book. Dive in and start to come to the healing path so that you can bring your light forward and be your best self. It's a pleasure to spend time with you today. I look forward to meeting you all live one day soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.